we've talked about this on air about eating pet food, dog treats, cat treats, whatever, and Greeny can't believe that people do it. Now, we went out on the Mike and Mike Twitter world, and it was two to one in favor of people that have tried dog treats. So Greeny, this is what I said. They look like human treats. These are all dog treats. See, it looks like a cookie, but there's a little paw on it. These are, are like cupcakes. They're dog treats, but look at how good they look. So all you gotta do is take a bite. No. Just take a bite. No, I won't. A one cookie, take a no, bite. No, I'm gonna tell you why I won't. Here's why I won't. Why? Because I'm not a dog. So I'm not a dog either. But you're disgusting and I'm not. This is not meant Everyone for human my consumption. My family has eaten a dog treat. Mike, I think that speaks loudly about your family. What are you saying about my wife right now? She's never eaten a dog treat in her entire life. Have you Here's Chris Golick right over here, at ND Mom. Have you ever eaten a dog treat? Yeah. No, why? Because she's a human being. And she is one of of some semblance of sense. I'm begging you. One bite. Why? One bite. There's no way. Watch. I would rather. It can't even bite into it. Oh my god, it sounds like a dog. I don't know if the audio comes through on this thing. It sounds like a dog. Do you have fleas also? It's chocolate. No, that's how it's probably not. It just looks like chocolate. Stop eating it. You're making your. It make, no, don't eat that. Whatever you do, don't eat that. I'm begging you not to eat that. Don't eat it. Oh no! <laughs> what is the matter with you? I'm just like a, you know what? Kind of a dry cupcake, but a cupcake nonetheless. This has been, the preceding has been, the most horrific experience in the history of the broadcast. Yeah, anyway. It's really not bad. Can we get you some wine with this? I mean, what wine would, would you pair? Oh, milk. I, I don't know. A dessert, yeah. a milk. dessert wine? Milk? milk? Mm -hmm. Start right there. Oh, yeah. Come on, Green. Here's the thing. I wouldn't eat this if I was him. And I'm... Do you not do that either? Well, here's the thing. I've done that. I would no no I, no no now no Where's other it? person should no I'm not drinking that cold. after you've drank it a little backwash would you drink that after he just did oh, that yes. oh no that's just, <laughs> that's just horrible just horrible no here's the thing if there are things about being a golic that appeal to me this is not on the list this to me I'm gonna say what this wasn't bad yes will you guys. Brush teeth and then swap? No, of course not. We will not brush Come teeth on. and then swap. Come no, on. I'm not even putting this in my. Come on. <laughs> this is just. Un... No, I'm not doing that. To be completely. I, I mean, no. That's I... another colic thing. I, it's a horrible thing. Okay, listen. If there's one thing this entire experience has t taught me, it is that I no longer want to be a golic. I'm very. I'm very happy in my germophobia. I'm very comfortable in, in my geekiness, if indeed that's what it is. If it means I have to eat food that is meant for domesticated or any other kind of animals, I'm not interested. There's only one thing I can say right now. What's that? If nothing else, they're, they're, they're tasteless and dry. That's all I'm they are. Ready, believe me, I've never been ready for anything in my entire life. Uh, they don't really have a taste to it. No, they're just yeah, kind of bland. They're they're dry, right? yeah. yeah. The cupcake is pretty good. Is it? Have you tried it? No. Yeah. We should try it. Yeah. That's good. It tastes like a ginger cookie. Yeah. I don't know about that. <laughs>